<laughs> hey guys, it's Tom Boggs, and who do we have here? This is uh, John Gregory. <laughs> so, what did you play today? <laughs> I played uh, Magnet Warriors. Magnet Warriors. Magnet Warriors. Magnet Warriors. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Magnet Warriors. That's right. So, uh, what did you finish with? What was your record at the end? Uh, X21. Very good, but let's, uh, let's go see what this Magnet Warrior is all about. Yeah, so we have uh, three of the Gem Knight Lapis here. Um, this is, you need to play the vanillas in this deck. This Gemini FTK, if you didn't already figured that out, <laughs> not playing Magna Warriors. Uh, and next, we need Gemini Tourmaline. You always want to see this one because uh, this really helps and facilitates with the Curious combo, which a lot of people don't actually like try to learn, but dedicated players learn uh, to do it. And next, we have to get these two vanillas, we have uh, three Smart Rescue Rabbit. Yeah. Smart, you move these away. Yeah. We're done with them. So uh, double rabbit? Yeah, three three rabbit. Uh, shout outs to my mom for uh, getting me two of these for my birthday many years ago. Hey, um, mom yeah. supporting Yu-Gi-Oh! This is what it's about. Support your kids <laughs> on their hobbies. That's right. And next we have uh, the three Gemini Obsidian. This card is nuts. Uh, it's a monster reborn when it's uh, sent from your hand to the graveyard. Um, just really good. It helps if you're going first, you know, obviously for the FTK or just trying to make a whole bunch of big guys and just push and kill them. Can you show us the FTK at the end? Yeah, sure. Yeah, cool. I can I can show you uh, like two variants of it. Show me one. Okay. Leave cool. the other one a secret. Okay. Uh, next we have uh, three Gemini Lab, uh, Gemini Lazuli, excuse me. And this one adds um, from grave to hand a vanilla when it's sent to the grave. So that one is really good as well. And this deck would not exist without the three block dragon. This, uh, yeah, it's really, really good. You keep bringing it back. It helps you grind a bit if you need to play that kind of game. But um, if it's sent from the field to the graveyard, you search your deck for rocks, up to three rocks that um, equal equal three. So he uh, searches your gemmas. So it's really good. Two Crystal Rose, again, really good. You can bring it back from the grave by banishing a uh, Gemini Fusion Monster. And uh, you can also send a monster from, uh, Gemini monster from your deck to the grave and it, it becomes that name. Um, so it's really good with um, Gemini Lap, or Gemini uh, Lazuli. Next we have the Gem Ar Armadillo. It's a bit of a brick, but not really. You want, don't really want to play more than this because it- Stratos! Yeah, it, but it just searches for the uh, monsters. So I only play the one of it, just so I always have eight. Stratos is a spirit animal. Exactly, it's an armadillo. <laughs> um, we have three Brilliant Fusion. This is your win condition, really. I feel like this is like people, you can bait people thinking you're playing Thunder Dragon. Yeah, exactly. And and if you if you resolve this card more often than not, you're going to win unless your hand is just really whack. That's but, what you did to me. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> you, had some, you had some other things to say about that, but... Um, you have it? Yes. Okay, we'll move on. <laughs> And next we have, uh, you have to play these, of course. It just came to three, Called by the Grave. I love this card. What do you think about it going to two? Uh, I think it was dumb. Yeah, I was dumb, but like when I was playing at two, it was still like, just really good. Good card. Um, because you do have three copies also of Dragdown. Yes. And uh, this one I actually like quite a bit more. This is gonna sound whack, but I like this a lot more than Called by the Grave because it can hit the impermanence and you can also kind of brick them sometimes. So if you if you look at their hand and they have like a lot of hand traps or like you, you can play you around have, it. Yeah, you can you can like snipe something that's not a hand trap and at least brick them and like hopefully just make a whole bunch of big boys next turn and kill them. So next we have three uh, unexpected die. This is like your junk forward from the deck except for uh, normal monsters. Three pot desires because you play quite a few three ofs and this doesn't bite you that often or really often at all. Um, and you just or want your brilliant won't brick. Yeah, it, you <laughs> want to activate this first and bait the ash and then just brilliant and kill him. He did that to me. <laughs> uh, Gem Knight Fu three Gem Knight Fusion. This card is nuts. You banish a Gem Knight from your grave, add it back to your hand. Really good. Not once per turn. Konami. Not once per turn. That was, this was before they started doing the whole once per turn thing for the most part. So Stop Konami. Once per turn. Kind of GX era <laughs> stuff. Next we have a card destruction. This is great with um great this with that. And great with that. Free and, cards, free pluses. Yeah, you just it's it's no longer a neg one, it's just it, yeah, it's really good. Medicate and get plus. And then uh wind button and foolish burial. Wind button when you have life. That's right. So, <laughs> <laughs> too soon. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pry at the, our Yikes. past game. That was, uh, that was funny. Um, but so, on to the extra deck. Is extra that deck, right? yeah, let's move right, on. Cool. Let's do it. 
So we got Nightmare Phoenix for if you're going second. Utility. And you can't always win the die roll. Uh, next we have um, two, Gym Knight Phantom Quartz. He's great. He does really everything you need. He searches on summon and you can bay a thousand to shuffle from your banish or graveyard. Gem Knight Monster is infused with those. Loser. Really good. Loser. Summon Sork. Uh, shout outs to uh, Vladis. I know you don't play this, um, but I really like this because I'm a greedy player and I like burning for more than like 10,000 with this combo. And it's also a uh, potential big summons. Yeah. Know, just to attack for game. Yeah. It's, it's really good. I mean, it's summon sword. And then Proxy Dragon, you need it really kind of part of the combo. Link Spider, I love this card in the combo. It, it's really flexible because a lot of times you'll find yourself with like a normal monster on field and you need to get one engraved, so you just make Link Spider next to the Proxy Dragon. You just like send uh, Leslie from deck to grave to add it back, so it's really nice. Uh, Nightmare Unicorn, this is a key part of the FTK. You shuffle back the uh, Master Diamond. Oh, your own card? Yeah, you shove back your That's own card. That's what I didn't understand. I was like, wow, how is he going to kill me? There's yeah, one Master Diamond now. Yeah, because they limited a Master Diamond a little while back, and so you, you need this. And... You're using kind of like how Spirals we use the Master Plan. <laughs> yeah. Shout outs to Mitch. He's sitting right there. He plays Spirals. Uh, curious? Uh, curious the Lightsworn. This is a big part of one of the combos. It's the big brain combo, actually. Big brain combo. Two um, Gem Knight Lapis Lazuli. This is. This is the sauce. Do you like playing into time? I do. I do. I, I love when I'm going first and I go into time and I can just grind the people. You just burn for a little game. bit. Yeah. I mean, it's bad time rules, but you're playing in FTK, so you're already kind of going down the grimy road. Um, I mean, if you're going to go go all the way. <laughs> yeah. Master. Uh, no, this is. Uh, this is Gem Knight Lady Brilliant Diamond. This is the uh, Lone Fire Blossom from the extra deck. It, it's great. I like your simple explanations. It's good. Yep, it, it's good. <laughs> Gemini Seraphonite, it's good. I mean, Gemini Master Diamond. Oh! Limited. Uh, Gemini Zirconia, you need to play this. I've thought about playing two, actually. Big because beats, unaffected by Widow Anchor. <laughs> that is, dude, that's very true. Um, a lot of times you want to make this with like Brilliant Fusion, so he's great. And Prismira, he is really good utility. I like him a lot. He can that's why bait. I thought you were playing Thunder Dragon at first. <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie. The, yeah, that's your that's your uh, first uh, clue. But so yeah, that's, Thunder Dragon, Brilliant Fusion. Yeah, must be it. That's yeah, the deck. there's no All way right. anyone's playing Gemini here. Let's here. quickly run through the side deck. Just right. just point out which matchup they're for. Right, Thunder Dragon and Dinosaur, I guess. Yay. Um, sometimes Thunder Dragon, definitely Sky Striker. Oh, yeah, Sky Striker, cool. Alter Geist, Draco, back row stuff. Can't Red Reboot, Draco. Alter Geist. Yeah. Impermanence, combo decks, hopefully you draw it and they don't kill you. Wombo combo, Rongo, Bongo combo. Yeah, and same Ashes. reason I, yeah, it, two Ash. On the side. Yep, well, because my whole deck is just wind trying to roll. just, yeah, win die roll, and if you don't, just try to win the next two games. Take a look at this FTK that you basically killed me with. We, to save time, I just basically scooped and asked you, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> so, now I'm gonna see it. Yeah, you just like, you need a bro uh, Brilliant Fusion and and a Gem Knight Monster, so. Okay, play it out. Let's just run through this. So we'll just take those two. Okay. Oh man, that's gonna be hard upside down. Uh, Brilliant Fusion, so you're gonna wanna send- uh, No response, do it. <laughs> no response, nice. No response. Uh, so you're gonna send any Gem Knight monster, really. But here's the here's the key part here. You, you need to send Block Dragon. Block Dragon. So there you go, you got those. So now you're gonna summon your Zirconia. Yep. Okay. And then you leak off with these. Okay. Because you don't need those anymore for now. And then Who it's actually guess? easier than I thought to play upside down. All right. Um, so Phantom Quartz. Now on summon, Phantom Quartz is going to search for a Gem Knight card. Pretending I'm playing right now. <laughs> um, search for a Gem Knight Fusion. Okay. All right. Very beautiful. And then what we're going to do, banish one, two, a three. You have exactly three now. Yeah. Oh my it's funny God. how that works. The fuel. So we'll just keep that right there. That's in that's in our hand. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pay a thousand to shuffle these three back in to our deck to fuse four. Why was I looking at my main deck for that? Just search for special. Um, brilliant dime. Uh, Lady Brilliant Dime. So now what you wanna do before you do anything else is you wanna treat this off. Four. Um Seraphonite. Seraphonite. So Seraphonite's important because you, the next step is you're going to link these off. Okay, and then you're going to go 
Search for rock monsters equaling eight after you summon your summon sort, which will go in this other zone over here. So right there. And then you search for uh, a one, a three. A one, three. And matter. yeah, they do, they do. The size of the level matters. Where's my armadillo? Oh, he's in the back. Where'd you, how'd you get back there? So these are in hand. Yep, these are in hand. So here's a quick note here. Um, it doesn't matter what you add, uh, either the obsidian or the um, lapis at this point, because you're gonna search for the uh, other one with uh, Armadillo's uh, okay. summon. So well, you, you have summon additional Arm summon now. Yeah, additional summon for Seraphite. So you summon that in, in this arrow. So you're gonna search out um, whichever one you don't, whichever three you don't have. So you search out lapis, and then so you can use summon Sorks effect, special one from deck. Wow, that that extra push. Crystal Rose. And then you're gonna link off with these two. Um, another for Proxy Dragon. Yep. Proxy Dragon. And then right, you're gonna fuse um, you're gonna fuse away lapis and obsidian for Okay. Um, your move this. Uh, okay. your lapis. Or your lapis lazuli. lazuli. And then you're gonna use uh, Obsidian's effect to special Lapis from Grave. Now from here, you're gonna link off Lapis into Link Spider. Sweetermon. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to banish. Yes. Summon. Okay. Crystal Rose effect. What send from. Yeah, you, uh, you copy the name, you send uh, okay. uh, Gemini from deck to grave, and you copy the name. So you send uh, Lazuli, and Lazuli is going to add back Lapis. Is that in hand? Sweet. Tons of cards. A lot of cards. And then, now you're going to use the effect of Lapis, sending a copy of Lapis herself. So you okay. burn for one, two, three, four, five, six, so that's 3k. Okay. Um, from here, you're going to... Spanish add. Okay. I'm gonna fuse away these three because this is now a Gem Knight monster. That's true. We're gonna do Diamond. Um, yeah, Master Diamond. We're gonna put him right here. And then effect of Lazuli, adding back Lapis. Oh, sorry, I'll get it. Um, we're gonna banish. Lazuli from Grave, add back Gemite Fusion. And then from here we're going to use uh, Master Diamond's effect. Banish uh, Lapis Lazuli, Lazuli, excuse me. Yes. We're going to send any Gemite monster from our extra deck or deck to Grave. Sure. I choose the, uh, I mean, just send Another Lazuli. 3k right here. Another 3k. And from here we're going to actually link off these two. So that's a link three right there into my main unicorn. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna discard the uh, Gemini Fusion to put okay. this back. Now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to banish another. Yep. Add to hand. We're just basically gonna replay this. Yeah, then we're gonna do one, two. That's exactly enough. Yeah, and a lot of times you'll have, you know, more Gemini monsters in hand, but it, does work out with. But how do I get the extra damage right now? <laughs> extra damage. Oh yeah, we'll. Uh, we're gonna go through that in a sec here. So, so now from here, we still have Lock Dragon Grave. One. He's not two. once per turn. He is not. His uh, his search effect is his summon effect is not. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna banish the second. That's two K. Yep, that's two K. That is a game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Um, shout outs? Shout outs, of course. The floor is open for you. Let me just give, um, put you in focus. Cool. Uh, I would like to shout out all my close friends Mitchell, right here. Um, Will, uh, Lance, uh, Josh, that wasn't able to come today. Uh, by the way, this is Josh's mount right here. Uh, thank you for letting me use it for good luck today. My girlfriend. Thank you, Kamel, um, and my parents for putting up with this uh, toxic habit of playing this game. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. And hi, Shane. I mean, hi, Paul.
Shane's wow. cards. Shane My Paul. bad. <laughs> Hi, Angry. Paul. Sorry, Paul. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please drop us a like so we know we are doing a good job. And you can also subscribe to MSD.TV for more fantastic videos by clicking on the button on the left. Don't forget to check out our partners at Imperium Duelist. They make really high quality mats, including some of my own limited edition release stuff. And if you want to check out one of our past videos, click here on the right. As always, don't forget to hold on to your MST.TV and I'll see you next time.